It's recording. Yep, it's recording. everyone <clears throat> we are deep in the bowels of LAX right now <laughs> so we're heading on our, our trip right now it's actually a really exciting trip for us and we hope you guys enjoy watching it we are going to Europe and we are going to Rome Prague Budapest Bruges and Rotterdam so that's gonna be our trip this is the first video of this trip that's why we're still in LAX so don't forget to subscribe so that you can get a notification when we upload all our videos for this trip. It's actually our annual birthday trip. So uh, yep. yeah, it's pretty exciting. So it's our biggest trip of the year. So we'll be gone for 16 days. We're gonna have lots of videos and um, we're like trekking to our terminal right now. Yeah, we kind of walk to a different terminal and I'll walk him back. So LAX terminals <laughs> are far from each other. <laughs> are far from each other. Walking. So what they do is they actually build underground tunnels so they can walk from terminal to terminal. Like once you get through security, you don't have to leave security or another terminal. Right. So we're actually in terminal four of LAX because we're flying American Airlines slash British Airways. And uh, but in order for us to use our priority pass lounge. We to walk over to Terminal 6, Terminal 6 for the Alaska Lounge. So that's what we did. Fact. Right. Okay, so we're in Chicago right now. We flew about four hours to Chicago. Our plane was a little delayed. Uh, three hour wait here, and we have nine more hours to get to Rome. So we're like halfway ish there. Yeah, so our plane leaves about an hour, I think. An hour, right? About an hour. About an hour or so. And then, yeah, it's getting later and later, and I'm getting more sleepier and sleepier. So hopefully, on this flight, we'll be able to sleep and get some rest because we actually arrive in Rome at nine o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a really long day tomorrow. So. Yeah, let's get some rest and we'll be ready to go as soon as we get to Rome. Yep, so we'll see you there. We'll go roam around. Why does one of the Why did you? We finally boarded. We have finally boarded. Next stop. Roma. And Roma. Oh, the place is actually pretty nice. Yeah. We're going 777. I don't think we've ever been on an international flight on. Americans. Technically, we bought a British Airways flight, but you know, they are like affiliated, you know, they do just the thing. So now we're at. I don't think they ever do that thing. Well, when we flew ANA last year, on the way back, we flew American. United. ANA and United, they do this. <laughs> Just like American Just and British like always. Exactly. Learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. It's hashtag Sarah's wisdom. <laughs> After 17, 16 hours? Yeah, plane took off about 17 hours ago from LA. 
We stopped in Chicago and now we're here at the train station waiting to go from the airport into Rome. Well, we didn't fly into the train station. We flew into the airport and now we walk to the train station, which is across the street. And we're going to take the train into the city. So, and just so you guys know, when you arrive at the Leonardo, uh, what is it? Leonardo da Vinci Airport, da Vinci, the Rome Rome. Airport. There's, like, as soon as you come out of, like, customs and baggage claim and all that, there's going to be, like, you'll see, like, lines of people buying tickets to the train because there's, like, four machines. Don't go there because... You That's actually, where we went. Because <laughs> there's... You get, so, get out of the airport, go straight to the train station, and there are places, like, that you guys should buy tickets. There's machines that with, like, no one at them. Yeah. Because so, everyone bought their tickets at the airport because they don't know about the machines here. Yeah, so don't buy your tickets in, at the airport. Just walk across, go to the train station, buy your tickets there. So anyway, so we already missed the um, the next fast train, mm -hmm. which is like takes 30 minutes and there's like no stop, so you pay a little bit more for that. Um, so instead of rushing to try to catch the the next one, we decided to buy the one that's right after, which is like half an hour later, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah, so now we're just kind of hanging out at the train station. Oh, and just so you guys know also, I was really thirsty and I really like wanted like uh, carbonated water. And I bought this. I wasn't sure if it was carbonated water or not. I don't know if you guys can see. And no. on my face. Anyway, so it's called a uh, San Benedito Oglio. Oh. Oligo Mineral. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm totally saying it wrong. But anyway, I opened it. I wasn't sure if it was um, carbonated water or not because it just says Aqua Mineral Natural, basically. And I just took a chance, bought it, I took a sip, and it was like the best sip of water I've ever had. It's really amazing. It, it has a weird taste. Not a weird. It has a taste to it. It's really good. It carbonated. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. so next stop is our hostel. We're gonna go drop our stuff off. Uh, our friend from Romania, Raluca, we'll, we'll introduce you to her. Uh, she's in our um, Las Vegas video, if you've seen that one. But she's meeting us up, uh, meeting us here in Rome. So we'll see her, drop her stuff off, and go check out the city finally. Yeah. So it's uh, around nine o'clock. Yeah. It's, it's still pretty early in the, in the in the day, so we have an entire day to do whatever. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later. We just got to the <laughs> hostel and we met with our friend Melinda. <laughs> So if you guys remember, uh, we met Raluca in Vegas back in June uh, when we went to go see the Blue Man Group and everything. So she actually lives in Romania and she came out to uh, to meet us in Rome. So yeah. so yeah, she's gonna be hanging out with us and it's gonna be a fun next few days. Yep. yep. So it's our first meal in Italy and with this Italian restaurant across from our hostel, they recommended it. And let's see what we have here. We have spaghetti clam sauce. Uh, spaghetti and seafood, and a big old pizza. I forgot the name of it. whatever. The strange Italian. Our hostel wasn't ready yet. It's got another hour to wait, so we found a pub. It's called the Goodfellas. The Goodfellas. Cheers. And what did I get again? What is this? Uh, this is apple juice. I got me a uh, limoncello. It's made of uh, it's liquor made out of lemon. I got elephant beer by Carlsberg. It's a very Italian drink too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, cheers. Or, so, salute. Salute. place called the Verde Pistachio, which means the green pistachio. It says on the cup, right? Yes, right here. Oops, I am dripping. There you go. <laughs> and I got a dark chocolate gelato, which is water-based, so there's a little milk in it. And she got <laughs> a 
it's in our mouth right now. It's real. Okay, <laughs> so that's coconut and uh, chocolate chip known as sachatella. Mm, I, like, I like the way she said it. It's, yeah. It's good? Uh, <laughs> I guess Sarah likes it. I like it. <laughs> I like the way she says it. <laughs> some time walking through Rome. We uh, got some gelato and got a beer for the road and checked out all these little alleyways and tiny cobblestone streets and we walked away to the Trevi Fountain. Which is right behind us, right here. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. It's this one of like, the, the most famous fountain here. In yeah, Rome. this is the one of the most famous fountains in the world. It's the largest Baroque fountain in the city and it was built in completed in 1762 so it's a very old fountain yeah it's beautiful yeah so we'll probably come back here at nighttime one of these uh one of these days before we leave rome so yeah all right on to the next uh destination I took a picture. It's a really long Italian word I can't say. Well, well it's there somewhere. Yeah. So anyways, we're at the Spanish Steps. And, um, it's really um, crowded here. There's a lot of people. But it's basically like a street of, or like a road of just like, like branding like stores. And you end right here at the steps right down there. And everyone just kind of hang, hangs out here, I guess. And then there's a few monuments that's kind of uh, it's around the area too, so um, yeah, it's really pretty and it's like you can see the sun setting with the church in the background. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. We just kind of happened to come across this place looking for a random, uh, another monument that Raluca wanted to see, but but we we got found this instead. So yeah, <laughs> after the fountain, we just kind of wandered around the streets checking everything out. And you can hear the church bells. happy hour. So for two hours they had uh, free wine. So we drank some wine, then we got hungry, and went to a place that was recommended by the hostel to eat. And um, we got about half an hour. And they never even took our order or anything. We were just sitting there. They just kept walking my passes. We were starving. So we actually had to, I hate doing this, but we actually had to get up and leave. Yeah, we would literally leave for 30 minutes. Yeah, so we came to this other place. We went to us across from a hostel. And within like 15 minutes, we put our order in and the food's on our table. So we got some pizza. Again. When in Rome. <laughs> yeah, when in Rome, you eat pasta and pizza. Pretty much. All right, see you then. You're not getting anything, are you? Huh?